Cancer. Happy Monday. Elsie here to do your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <clears throat> it is for the sign of Cancer today. If you are someone who is brand new and you have been, you have not been here before, I hope you'll decide to subscribe. There's a bell button across from this or above the subscribe button um, if you want to know when I'm uploading. If you wouldn't mind, please giving me a thumbs up on one of my uh, videos. That does help me to be seen and help our uh, group to grow here. And as you, as we all grow together, I can come back and give you, keep giving you these free readings. Okay, so we are going to pick one card, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm going to ask Spirit to throw one card for you. We have got two. You know what? I'm not going to take two. I feel like we shouldn't take two. I feel like we should take one. And there it is. The Five of Autumn. Okay, so the Five of Autumn is, it says, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for career change, feeling challenged by money issues. So I feel like this is, um, this is the Five of Pentacles in the, um, um, in the uh, tarot, um, in the, you know, the tarot that is not, um, uh, Doreen Virtue Tarot, but um, this is yeah the Five of Pentacles, which is saying that maybe there's some um, there's some money issues, feeling challenged by money issues. This is a really cute depiction. You can see that person is kind of asking for help. So if this is you. Um, uh, if this is you, Cancer, and you're um, having these money issues, that if you can reach out to help uh, someone or someone can uh, please ask someone to uh, help you out if you're really having a hard time. Um, I know this is a hard time for a lot of people. There's been so much job loss. Um, so if you do have the ability to help someone or someone to help you, then, um, you know, don't don't hold back their blessings. Let them have their blessings by either being of assistance or you being of assistance to them. Well, great. So let's uh, let's um, go ahead and clarify the five of autumn. We have the seven of wands. So I think these money issues that are cropping up here are f making you feel a little bit defensive. You want to take the higher ground, but I don't necessarily think that that is what is um, what is going to happen here. Hang on, I just dropped a card, guys. You want to take the higher ground, but it is really playing on your mind. Um, you're feeling this deeply. Um, and it's not only affecting you financially, but now it's affecting you emotionally as well, um, which isn't good at all. So um, let me just see what I have here. Dropping cards is what I have. You need some healing. Okay, so some healing when it comes to finances. Um you're going to try and get someone to help you or you're going to help another one of the two. And um, yeah, we're the universe is saying connect to spirit, connect to spirit and find out what's going on there. Because, you know, the Empress is very creative. She's um, she's always creating something, whether it's life or friendships and love. Uh, she is the person that others go to for advice. So if you have a friend you can go to for advice or someone who is in the um, the healing arts, you know, someone who might be a light seer, then it might be a good idea for you to contact them to see um, if there's anything, any information that they can give you about um, how you can handle this time with um, with uh, hard finances or just being feeling left out on the outside looking in. Maybe it's a, a relationship issue um, or a friendship issue. Let's get a little bit closer in here and we'll clarify and see what's going on. We just want to clarify for the Seven of Wands, please. What can you tell us about the Seven of Wands? Tell us about the Seven of Wands, please. So you feel like this, um, whatever this situation is, you feel like it's like a mountain you've been climbing for quite some time. That it's been arduous, it's been hard, you're exhausted. And um, financially, if, if it is financial for you, I do understand that. Because so many people are having a hard time uh, this year trying to keep their lives together because of lo job loss and and things like that so um, this is um, the mountain is yeah it's about obstacles and barriers so you've had a lot of obstacles so far this year lots of barriers maybe energetic blocks um, you're trying to overcome you have a lot of ambition and you're trying to overcome this to me is the ambition um, you're trying to overcome what has been dealt to you and and um, 
Cancer, you're you're pretty strong and you're strong in business as well. And that's because you're really you're highly intuitive. And I feel like um, that you need to put your intuition hat on and figure your way out of this. I feel like um, you feel as though um, life has you know, put you in danger of loss of some things and uh, you don't really know how to handle it um, or you feel that you don't know. I feel innately that you know how to handle it, but I feel like you feel that you're lost a little bit. The Knight of Cups here is clarified by the letter and the letter is usually information that is coming to you in written form um, and this could be something to do with finances, of course. Uh, the letter is about news, it's about um, messages, getting some mail, um, correspondence of some kind. It could be an award. It could be that you're getting, um, you don't know that you're getting a, um, um, maybe if you still are in work and still are working that you may be getting a promotion um, that, or you may have the opportunity to do some more learning um, and uh, setting your intentions uh, about this information that is coming is probably a good thing. So asking spirit to um, that say, telling spirit that your intention is that this be good news, um, that you be able to have information within this information that will help you get through things here, that will help you balance your energy. Um, Four of Swords, please. What do we have? The Lady. So um, it could be someone who is female that needs this rest and healing, or it could be someone who is dealing with someone who needs the rest and healing and just won't lay down. I feel like it's been hard for healing. Um, that you either don't want to lay down or your person doesn't want to lay down, that you just want to keep going. But the thing is, is that if you do keep going, you don't heal yourself, you could end up in a worse off way than ever. The Empress is being clarified by the moon. So you're scared to ask for help. You're scared to come out with your... Um, your um, um, creativeness. You're scared to try something new, like maybe a business. Um, the moon casts doubt, ga casts uh, shadow and doubt, and with the moon, you don't necessarily know what's coming. So not being able to see in far enough into the future to make any sort of decisions that might uh, be helpful to you. All right, let's continue clarifying here. Tell us why the there's defense here. Why is there defense, please? Why is why is our cancer defensive, please? Cancer's defensive because you've been in your crab shell. Um, I feel like you've been alone. You haven't really been talking to people. You haven't really been visiting people. I mean, if you're trying to stay safe, I understand that. But you, I feel like you need to make connection with someone. Um, connection with... Um, someone that you used to connect with a lot, maybe reach out and ask for their connection. I feel like the person that you had been connecting with had emotionally walked away from you, um, that they, um, they felt that you weren't willing to give um, enough emotion, and so they have given their emotion to someone else. You wanted reciprocity from them, and I feel like you were getting the reciprocity from them. But... Um, I also feel like that um, there wasn't enough reciprocity coming. Um, I feel like you miss them. I feel like you have romantic feelings for them. I feel like um, you um, want to bring more. Um, you want to bring more love. You want to talk to them about having feelings about them. But I feel like you're too scared to do that. Uh, why is the Knight of Cups here, please? We have the Knight of Cups twice. Why is the Knight of Cups here, please? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. We've got the Knight of Cups here because... Um, you you want to stay single and i think we talked about that last week where you don't you really want to have a plus one someone who to, to hang out with watch movies with you know go places with have some laughs with but you want to remain single you don't really want to have anyone in your life who's going to take up all of your time you're not interested in being in a relationship and a lot of people aren't and that's cool too um but if you're not going to, it looks like you're going to have to deal with some healing here and you're going to have to heal with this person, this lady friend here. Um, I feel like you do want to contact this person to tell them that you, you want to try over again, that you want a new start. Um, you're willing to work hard at it and um, you are uh, someone who is... Oh, just one moment, please. 
Sorry about that, guys. A little bit of an interruption. Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, we have the Seven of Wands, which is telling me that you're feeling defensive about it. Even though you want <laughs> cancer, even though you want um, to have this person with you, to have a new start with this person, and you want to work really hard on it, you're still um, defensive, right? You're feeling defensive about <laughs> a relationship. So I think that this this other person, your person, or the person you would consider to be your person, the one that we're talking about here, I think that that person has kind of walked away and said, you know what, you had your chance, and um, I, I just feel as though, Cancer, that you're happier being single than you are being in a relationship, even though um, you feel like you want to uh, reconnect with this person, I feel like they want more from you than you're willing to give. Why is the Empress here, please? Why is the Empress here, please? The Empress is here because there was an opportunity um, to uh, to connect with this person on an emotional level, and you decided um, against it. You decided not to. It, it scared you too much. There's too much that you don't know. There's too much that you're uncertain about, and um, there is uh, too much going on. You don't want this person to get attached to you, essentially, is what it is. You don't want them to get attached to you, and you don't want them to um, expect things from you because uh, I feel like you feel expectations is uh, something that can kill a relationship. Um, just going to clarify some of these here. Um, I want to clarify the Eight of Cups here. Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Who's walking away? Why is the Eight of Cups here, please? Who's walking away? Eight of Cups. Well, I feel like um, the Four of Swords is here, and um, the Four of Swords tells me that this person is walking away because they need healing. They also need justice. They need to be able to have someone on their side who is um, going to be... Um, Who's going to be their partner, you know, someone who can protect them or, you know, I'm not saying that you need to be protected, but someone who will be on their side, someone who will give them justice, um, someone who will give them um, more conversation, someone who um, who will give them, um, you know, perhaps um, some intimate times <laughs> and um, someone who will... Um, Yeah, I f yeah, it's it's a very mixed bag of emotions here is what I'm feeling. So what I'm feeling is that there is a lot of um um, magnetism between you two. You two are very attracted to each other. This person, though, your person wants more from you than you're willing to give. You want to stay single, and they want to be in a relationship. So um, there you go. There, therein lies the issue. Therein lies the energetic block. Um, yeah, this you are willing to do whatever it takes in order for you to stay single. You're seriously not in um, relationship mode at all. Why are you defensive here? Um, seven of Wands. Clarify Seven of Wands, please. Seven of Wands. Woo! All right. Seven of Wands is being clarified by the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you've got other people as well. So this isn't the only person that you're seeing. You've got other people as well. And so you're kind of more about variety than you are about um, being... Um, being in one relationship. Um, why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please? Eight of Pentacles is here because of the Five of Pentacles. So, um, yeah, you you have, um, you're wanting to work really hard on getting back into connection with this person, um, I feel, but you are not willing to um, take them on as someone who is your you're everything, right? You're not willing to date. And um, when I see the Empress here with the Four of Cups, I feel like there has been messages going on between you two that you have been um, messaging each other. But I feel like the other person is on guard from you. I think they felt like they've been hurt before um, uh, with you. And uh, they're not going to allow you to do that again. What do we have here for advice here? I'm going to use the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Ask for more advice, please. 
we have grounding. It says, go deep, explore your roots. And you really need to figure out what you want, Cancer. Do you want a person? Because not everybody's going to hang out and wait for you to decide you want to see them, right? Take risks and venture forward. Um, you might be a person who needs to decide to take a risk or two, or you could be a very lonely person. Um, if you don't want a person and you're okay being alone, that's good. Um, but if you really do want a person, not many people would just kind of want to come in and out when you wanted them there. Um, take a risk and venture forward. Why do we have that here? Clarify, please. Um, the moon. You're scared to take a risk and venture forward. You don't know what's in the distance, right? And you're, you want to be in control of things at all times. So you um, are here with the moon energy and you can't move forward because you're, because of, you're behind the fear wall. The five of cups tells me you've been hurt before as well and that's why you're remaining in control. You don't want to be able to give someone enough um, leeway to hurt you. Uh, what about grounding? Go deep and explore your roots. Go deep and explore your roots. Please clarify. Um, judgment. So you need to make a decision. You know, you need to get off the fence. You need to make a decision. Um, this could be someone that you've known for a while, though. I feel like it's been in and out with you two. Um, that it's been in and out with you two, that, um, you know, you go away, then you come back, and then they go away, and they come back. And I think that's what's brought, uh, contributed to the instability of this relationship. Uh, the Ace of Wands tells me you're really attracted and really passionate about them, but I think that they're feeling as though they can't trust you, um, or that they might get used. And who wants that, right? Then we have the Wheel. So the Wheel of Fortune then turns in your favor. And I just want to see why it's turning in your favor. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune? And why is it turning in, your, in, in the favor of Cancer? And what is it bringing, please? It's bringing the whip. Um, where is my booklet? The whip. So it's bringing the whip. And the whip is... Um, arguments, conflict, <laughs> yeah, pain, repetition. So it's a cycle that you guys keep repeating together. Um, and even though this, um, this Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, what you're using it for is you're using it for to repeat what's already happened. You could get bit, though. This person could hurt you instead of you hurting them. But I think that's the reason that you're, you, um, are not making any, um, any solid plans with this person. Um, you've been lied to, you've been betrayed in the past, and um, this could represent, um, you know, two women who uh, maybe hurt you. Maybe you were with one and the other one hurt you. So I think that you're just not willing to put yourself in that situation again, which totally makes sense, absolutely. Um, what do we have for advice here for Cancer? Until uh, next Monday for the week ahead, please. What do we have for cancer? We have take the lead. Yeah, you're the person that needs to take the lead in this thing. You need to talk to that person and be honest with them. Stop, you know, making them feel as if it's a go away, come here sort of situation. Um, do what you love. You need to figure out what it is that you want to do in this life and do that thing. And not worry about what everyone else is doing. Um, if you are interested in being with this person, be honest with them. If you're not, be honest with them. And then maybe, and then just maybe, you guys can come to a realization together about what type of relationship you want to build. Maybe it is a now and again plus one relationship. And the final um, information from Spirit. Oops. Okay, we've got lots going on here. Hang on. What's the last of the advice, please, for the week ahead for Spirit? Make sure not to cause any issues, anger, you know, treat them well and they will treat you well. I feel like it is, uh, you know, it's on the fence and it could go one way or the other that you could cause anger and hostility. The fifth chakra here is um, Archangel Gabriel speaking up. It's the throat chakra. You can see here the throat chakra. So it's about speaking up. It's about having a conversation about what this relationship looks like. Um, maybe the person that 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 you want to be your person, maybe they're willing to do a part-time relationship. Um, yeah, there is a caring connection between the two of you. And I feel like you need to use your gut cancer. That's what you're good at. You're highly intuitive. And we have Archangel Ariel. I don't know what Ariel is. So I'm just going to take a look here. 
I don't know much about Archangel Ariel. She is 36. There we go. Archangel uh, Ariel. It says the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy, uh, promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. So I feel like you are not very comfortable with intimacy. And um, that might be what is making your person turn their back. Um, the greater comfort of intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to come... Be to get creative let your yeah use your gut right get creative um and uh, uh reach into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have more creative approach so i think you're lacking in creativity that you guys keep doing the same cycle over and over again so unfortunately this is a wasted wheel of fortune here because you're using that energy of the wheel of fortune turning in your favor just to take the same cycle over and over so I feel like you're stuck in an energy that you feel as though you can't change. But you can, you know, it is all up to you. You can change that energy anytime you want to. If it's fear you're having issues with, there are all kinds of people you can talk to about how to get past the fear issue. Okay, Cancer, that is it for you for the week ahead. And if you have any comments or if anything resonates, please let me know below. I am open for private readings. Um, and uh, my email and information pricing is below. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Thank you very much for clicking here. I hope to see you next week on Monday. Thanks, Cancer. Bye-bye.